Today I'll be at a whiskey tasting at Starwood Distillery in Melbourne. Join me. Hey, it's Maximo and welcome to Tipples and Treats. Today we're at the Starwood Distillery. The distillery is located in Port Melbourne. Tasting sessions cost $40 and last for 30 minutes. My good friend Anthony received one of these tasting sessions for two people as a birthday present. He was kind enough to invite me along. Tasting sessions are available to be booked between Thursday and Sundays, four days per week. The tasting area is part of the distilling factory complex. It does have quite a funky, modern, industrial vibe to it. There's plenty of seats. Bookings are essential for the tasting and they do book out a couple of weeks in advance. I'll leave a link in the description. There's a cellar door on site and you can even book in for a distillery tour if you've got a little bit more time and a fair bit more money. In the end I didn't buy anything from here. I thought uh, while the whiskies were okay, I don't think they represented that good value for money. You can get a better scotch whiskey for half the price or even less. We both got there quite early, so we decided to have a cleansing hour while we waited for our allotted slot. It was summer and the mid 30s, and just a word of warning that this place isn't air conditioned and gets quite warm. At the allotted time, we were called to the bench that you see in front of you to have the tasting session. We tried five different spirits, a clear one, the Nova, a twofold, a small batch and the single malt Australian whiskey. I'll leave details of each of the whiskies in the description. We were quite crowded and I don't think it was appropriate for me to be filming the whiskey tasting. I can say that the small batch was by far the best whiskey that I tried. The staff member that took the session was very knowledgeable about the whiskies and how they were made and the history of the distillery itself. We were whisked through the tasting session in 30 minutes and then decided to have an early dinner at one of the nearby restaurant booths. We ordered some whiskey cocktails and a cheese board. Thank you. So this is actually our spent barley crackers. So after we, we use barley to make whiskey, obviously, we take them, take that spent barley, turn it into bread, and then whatever bread we don't so we actually just slice that and turn it into crackers. Oh, wow. Oh, thanks very much. The cheese and meats were absolutely fantastic and all locally produced from Australia. It was a very, very pleasing experience, but quite expensive. The tasting cost $50 per person with a discount, and we spent $50 per person each on drinks and the food. So for two people, you're looking at around about $200, quite expensive for a couple of hours in the afternoon. It was quite interesting just having a look around the distillery, and it would have been nice to have that distillery tour as well. Overall, it was a pretty good experience. The food was good, the service is good, the whiskey is great. You had the choice of uh, having cocktails as well as beer, as well as food after your tasting session. It was quite expensive and it was rather hot without any air conditioning. It was a little bit expensive, but I think overall worth it. I do hope you've liked this video. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notify bell so you'll be notified of my future videos. Until my next review, you take care and cheers. Mm -hmm.